Hi, this is the lesson on the relationships between cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and organisms. Again, this is the recorded lesson for Standard 3.8. We're going to start this lesson by reviewing a little bit about cells. Remember, cells make up all living things and carry out the activities that keep that living thing alive. Also remember that the cell itself is alive. There are many different types of cells specialized to do only one job. Some examples include nerve cells, skin cells, and red blood cells. Can you think of any others? Now, what would happen if we put together a lot of cells that all work together for one purpose? What would we form? We'd form a tissue. Tissues are just groups of cells that work together to do a specific job. There are four main types of tissues, muscle tissue, nerve tissue, connective tissue, and epithelial tissue. Do you know what epithelial tissue is? I'll give you a hint. You're covered in it. Now we work our way up to the organ. An organ is a structure that's made up of two or more tissues that work together to carry out a specific job. Some examples include the stomach, heart, and lungs. Can you think of any others? Take a look at the picture on the left. Organs do not usually work alone. Instead, they really like to work in a system. An organ system is just made up of all the organs that work together to do a specific job. Some examples include the digestive system and the cir circulatory system. Let's take a closer look at the digestive system. In the digestive system, the stomach works with the liver and the small and large intestines and other organs to break down your food. What are some other organs that are involved in this process? And what's the specific job again? That's right, to break down your food. Together, these organs come together and form an organ system. So we've started at the smallest, the cell, and we've worked our way up to the organism. So let's take a minute and review. When a bunch of cells come together for a specific purpose, they form a tissue. When two or more tissues come together, they form an organ. When organs come together for a specific job, they form an organ system. Are you noticing a pattern here? When several organ systems come together, they create the organism. Let's see if you can do it now. Try and organize the following terms according to size, starting with the smallest on the left and working your way up to the largest on the right. The words to use are cell, organism, organ, tissue, and organ system. Oh, and by the way, this organizer can be used as a piece of evidence as long as you include the term, the definition, and an example. Oh, and by the way, did you know that this type of organization applies to plants too? Yeah, plants have tissues and organs also. Let's take a look at some plant tissues. You can follow along with me on the far right. Dermal tissue, ground tissue, and vascular tissue. Now, if all these tissues come together for a specific purpose, they form organs. What are three types of organs? That's right, leaf, stem, and root. Now, what happens when we put together a bunch of organs for a specific purpose? Oh yeah, we form an organ system. In a plant, a shoot is actually an organ system. Well, that's it for this lesson, guys. I hope you had fun, and good luck on your pieces of evidence. Bye!